Hello, Buster. It looks like you're all covered in mud. You had a lot of fun splashing through those muddy puddles. <laughs> it looks like Buster might need a wash. I'm not sure if he thinks so. Here comes the city bus. Oh dear, he doesn't look very impressed at how dirty Buster is. It looks like Buster has finally realized just how messy he looks. That's right, Buster. You're covered in mud. Is that a sign for a car wash? <laughs> Great idea, Buster. Off he goes to the car wash to clean himself up. Oh, poor Buster. He's too scared to go inside. It does look very scary, doesn't it? Go on, Buster. You can do it. You need to get clean. You're so dirty. He's going for it. Buster is being very brave indeed. One, two, three. Oh no, you were so close, Buster. Oh, he sounds very impatient. Buster, take a deep breath. You can do it. Huh? But the sounds are so scary. Go on, Buster, you can do it. You're almost there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> You're doing it, Buster! It tickles. That's not so bad, is it? And out he comes. There, that wasn't so bad, was it, Buster? All sparkly and clean. Looking good. Wow, well done, Buster. Nice and clean. That car wash wasn't so scary after all. Hey there, Buster. That's a great looking shark poster oh. you've got there. Oh, Buster's looking really tired. I wonder what he'll dream about. What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster. I think you're under the sea. Look at Buster go. The ocean is his new playground. Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster. Jump into the sky. This is so much fun. Wait, what's that? It's a huge fish. Quick, Buster, hide. Oh, look, he's not big at all. He's tiny. It's OK, Buster, nothing to worry about. But what's this? It's Sham the Shark. Look at all those sharp teeth. Hi, Buster, quit. Oh, no. Buster has spun around the little fish, and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the shark seems very keen to make friends, but it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish, hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad. Really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See, he just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go. Oh, Buster's waking up. It was only a dream. You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure. <laughs> hey there, Buster. What have you got there? An ice cream. <laughs> it sure looks delicious. What's wrong, Buster? Oh, you've got a wobbly tooth. That's not good at all. Huh? I think Buster has been eating too much sugar. Oh, dear. That does look painful. Poor Buster. Oh, great idea, Robin. Huh? Buster should go to the dentist to get that bad tooth looked at. Oh, come on, Buster. It's not that scary. That's a tasty-looking lollipop. <laughs> but I don't think it's any good for your bad tooth. Ooh, that looked like it really hurt. What about an apple, Buster? Something with a little less sugar in it? Huh? I think Buster's afraid to eat anything now. Oh, dear. That tooth is still hurting. Poor Buster. He can't stay like this. That's it, Robin. Go and get some help. 
Look who it is! It's Amber, the ambulance! Oh. She'll know what huh? to do. Don't be afraid, Buster. Uh -huh. Amber Ooh. is here to help. You just have to be brave. <laughs> Open wide. Mm. Come on, Buster. Open up nice and wide so Amber can see your tooth. Let's have a look. That looks very painful, Buster. It looks like you're going to lose your first milk tooth. And then you will get your big teeth. <laughs> Amber knows what will help. A toothbrush. Squeeze the toothpaste out of the tooth <laughs> and brush from side to side. That's it, Buster. All nice and clean. And a quick rinse. It's very <laughs> important to look after your teeth. Well done, Buster. An ice pack will soothe the pain. <sighs> That's better. You see, that wasn't so scary, was it? <sighs> Thanks, Amber. Oh, wow, look, Buster. Your oh. wobbly tooth has fallen out. <laughs> That's much better, isn't it? And a new tooth will grow in its place soon. Well done, Buster. You are very brave. Hey, Buster. Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no. It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out. You will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wow. You're floating in the air. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible, Buster. Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly. Oh, wow. You've turned into a superhero. You are so fast. Super Buster is here. Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no, he's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty Bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the <laughs> pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. <laughs> Go Buster! Hey look, it's Buster the bus. He's having a day on the beach. Doesn't it look lovely? Oh no, Buster, your wheels are stuck in the sand. That wasn't part of the plan. Look at Digger. He's not getting stuck thanks to his caterpillar tracks. And who's this? Sandy the seagull. I wonder if Sandy will be able to help. I think she wants you to follow her, Buster. That's it, Buster. If you move one wheel at a time, you won't get stuck again. Digger's digging a hole. Oh, look out, Buster. What's that? A bucket and a spade? I think Sandy wants you to help her build a sand castle. Just a bit more sand. Turn it over and there, a sand castle. Well done, Buster. Isn't it pretty? Good job. Oh, wow. Digger's sand castle is amazing. It's much bigger than yours. He's, wait, Buster, look out. Mind the hole. At least Digger's here to get you out again. I think Digger's really proud of his brilliant sand castle. Oh no, Sandy, don't land there. You'll destroy the sand castle. I don't think Sandy realizes what she's doing. Oh no, it's just a big pile of sand now. And what's that noise? Oh wait, watch out guys. 
poor digger. But wait, not all the sand castles have been destroyed. Buster's little castle is still standing. And now it's the biggest and the best, thanks to Sandy. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you had a great fun day at the beach. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow! It looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. <laughs> what a oh. mess. It <laughs> looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh. oh no. Scouts didn't go right either. Oh. Maybe Buster? Oh. Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? <laughs> Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look, it's Grandpa Bus. Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! 
There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny! That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster! The bubbles are overflowing! Oh dear, what a soapy mess! Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow, the sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah, it's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops, watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. Hmm. Hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah, it's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again. Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? <gasps> the shark has a sore, wobbly tooth! That's why it was jumping out of the water! Don't worry, shark! Buster can help! He's trying to get Mommy's attention! She's awake! She's got her red kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue! Splat! <laughs> yum, yum! Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth! It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his friends. What's this machine Diggly the Digger has built? It's a big paint cannon. But looks like he's forgotten something. Off he goes. Here comes Buster and his friend Cozy Coop. They've seen the paint cannon. Looks like they're going to play with it. I wonder what it does. It looks like it's loaded with these paint cans. Cozy's investigating. This lever aims the cannon. And this button shoots some paint. Whoa! They turned the green tree purple. Amazing! Look, now Buster wants to change color. Cozy aims the cannon. Hooray! Buster is now pink! Coloring things is so much fun! What should they color next? Cozy pushes the button again and again. Whoa! They're shooting big dollops of paint high into the air. They're coloring in the clouds. There's Terry the tractor. His hay has been painted blue. Uh-oh, Terry's turned yellow. There's Scout the car. She's seen all the paint on the road. Now she's turned green. She looks really surprised. Diggly's coming back. 
Uh-oh. Now Diggly is purple. I think Diggly knows what's going on. Buster and Cozy are still having fun, but uh-oh. Their friends don't look very happy about their colors being changed. I think it's time to put everything back to normal. Blue, purple, red, yellow. There, back to normal. Now, what's Diggly doing with that sheet of paper? I think he has an idea. They've used the cannon to paint a rainbow. Hooray! Look, Buster and Cozy Coop are playing in the park. There's Iggy the ice cream truck. Buster's going to grab some ice cream. But what's that? It's Robot Buster. He's turned yellow like Buster. Cozy thinks it's the real Buster and wants to play. But oh no! The ball hit robot switch and it turned him mean. <laughs> robot Buster is leading Cozy away. Now Buster is back, but he doesn't know where Cozy went. Poor Buster. There's Iggy. What's Robot Buster up to? Oh no! He's throwing tomatoes at Iggy. That's very mean. Cozy looks very upset. Robot Buster is running away now. Poor Cozy doesn't understand. Meanwhile, Terry is playing the accordion. Nice. Oh no! Robot Buster smashed the accordion. Poor Terry. Cozy is standing up to Robot. That was really mean. But what's this? <laughs> it's Buster! Hooray! There's the good bad switch. Cozy knows what to do. <laughs> Flick! Now Robot Buster is nice again. Good job, Cozy and Buster. Now Robot Buster is making up for being mean. Iggy's all clean, and Terry's accordion is fixed. <laughs> Hooray! It's a bright, sunny day. Buster and Cozy Coop are visiting the beach. They're playing volleyball. And look, Sham the shark wants to play too. Cozy throws the ball to Sham. Oh dear, the ball has popped on Sham's teeth. Whoops, but what's this? Is that a treasure map? Whoa, there's buried Whoa. treasure. <laughs> and it's buried on that desert island. But how will they get across the water? I think Buster has an idea. Whoa, Buster has built a ramp out of sand. Whoosh. Oh no. Splash. Buster couldn't jump far enough. I guess they'll have to try something else. What's Cozy seen? A giant lily pad? Maybe they can drift across the water. Uh-oh, Cozy's come to a stop. Cozy tries paddling, but they just go around in circles. Luckily, Sham can push them back to shore. Thanks, Sham. But they're still no closer to the island. But what's this? Sham has a raft. Now they can cross the water in no time. They've reached the island. Now, time to find that treasure. X marks the spot. Is this X the buried treasure? No, that's just some twigs. Is this X the treasure? No, that's just some seaweed. What about this X? Hooray! There's the treasure chest! Well done, Cozy! Look at all that shiny treasure! And look! A golden ball! Now they can play catch again! Well done, everyone! Buster is telling Cozy Coop a story. Once upon a time, the adventurers Buster and Cozy were driving through the deep wood. They came to a castle where King Terry lived. They were very excited to see him. 
But then, the evil villain bandit locked Terry in the jail cell and stole his crown. <laughs> Buster and Cozy wanted to help, but Bandit shut the drawbridge so they couldn't get in. Oh dear. But then, Buster had a plan. First, he got a big log. Cozy hopped on one end, and Buster bounced them high into the air. And Cozy flew right over the castle walls. Bandit chased after them. But clever Cozy got away. Cozy was up on the wall. They pulled the lever and opened the drawbridge again. Bandit was angry and chased after Buster. But Buster tricked him. He climbed onto the log and boing! Buster flew over the castle walls too. Bandit tried to chase him, but Cozy shut the drawbridge again. Splash! Bandit ended up in the castle mode. Buster and Cozy rescued King Terry and gave him his crown back. Then Terry put Bandit back in jail where he belongs. Hooray for Buster and Cozy! The end. What a great story that was. Look, it's Cozy Coop at the sweet shop, and they've bought some tasty sweets. Now here comes Scout. She wants to get some sweets, too. They look tasty, but uh-oh, it's that mean old bully, Bandit Bus. He's stolen Scout's sweets and eaten them. How mean of him. Poor Scout. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cozy visits Buster in the park, where Buster is playing with his soccer ball. Cozy wants to share the sweets with Buster. But oh no, it's Bandit again. He's stolen the sweets and eaten them himself. And now he's seen the soccer ball. Bandit has stolen it. Aw, poor Cozy is so upset. They got those sweets especially for their friend. But what's Buster doing? Oh? He thinks they should follow Bandit and ask for the ball back. It's not right to take things that don't belong to you. Buster and Cozy drive along the road. But what's this? A trail of sweets leading into a cave. That must be where Bandit went. Buster and Cozy are headed inside. They are going to ask for the ball back. Look, there's Bandit. But he looks so sad and lonely. Look at all the drawings he's made. Oh dear. Bandit doesn't have any friends. That's why he stole the sweets in the ball. He has nobody to play with. Bandit has noticed Buster and Cozy. Buster asks for the ball back, and Bandit gives it back. He's sorry he made Cozy upset. But what's that noise? It's Scout, and she's brought Otis the police car. She tells him that Bandit has been stealing things, and Bandit ends up in jail. But what's this? Buster and Cozy have come to play with him. Stealing is wrong, but they know Bandit is really sorry, and he only wanted some friends. Look, it's Buster and Cozy Coop. <laughs> Driving by the farm today. Can we help in any way? Terry shows us the sheep pen. Can we get them in again? Let's go to catch the sheep. Keep them safe and sound. Oh, no one has escaped. He's running us around. The cheeky sheep has dug a hole. Where's he gone? He's on a roll. Can we catch him? Yeah, you bet. Let's go. Ready, get set. Let's go to catch the sheep. Keep them safe and sound. Oh, no one has escaped. He's running us around. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Up and down and here and there. The tricky sheep is everywhere. We use the hay to plug the hole. There he is. Let's take him home. Good job. We caught the sheep. Now they're safe and sound. Watch out. If they escape, they'll run us all around.